Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing a movie review. And um, since Halloween is kind of, you know, um, right around the corner, um, I don't know what it is, but all throughout the entire summer, and even so today, it's not summer anymore, um, I just want to watch a lot of horror movies and a lot of scary movies. Um, when this movie, the the new It movie based on Stephen King novel, um, this was released in 2017, I was not interested at all because it's really scary and for like a couple years I kind of was like not really into scary movies. Um, I have a limit when it comes to scary movies. That's a different video though if you want to if anybody's interested and curious as to why I usually shy and kind of not really gravitate towards a lot of scary movies, do let me know down below. Then I will make a video about that. Um, but anyway, so it released 2017. This is rated R. It's 2 hours and 15 minutes. It is um, in the horror genre and released in September 8, 2017 in the US. And I believe around this time, um, I was very pregnant. I could barely get off the couch, literally. And I was sleeping on the couch because it was so hard for me to get up and down the stairs. So I had to do that because I was in preterm labor. But anyway, moving on. In the summer of 1989, a group of bully kids band together to destroy a shape-shifting monster, which disguises itself as a clown and preys on the children of Derry, their small main town. So, um, it has Jaden Jaden Martle. Jeremy Ray Taylor, Sophia Lillis, Fiend Wolfhard, Chosen Jacobs, Jack Dylan Grazer, and of course Bill Skarsgård. So I have watched the original movie It. A lot of people do love it and there was like a really mixed review on it. My husband completely loves the old version. Um, I remember watching it, I don't know like the first time and I and I was a child and I thought it was like really cheesy and I believe my husband and I watched it again because he was just like let's watch it you know he was he was just nagging me on it so we watched it and I, th I don't remember when we watched it it could have been just a few years ago or it could have been just last year I don't even remember so we watched it and I'm like yeah, it's so really cheesy. Like, it's so weird how, like, um, they're all extremely petrified when they talk about what happened. And then when their new buddy comes back to town, they're all so, like, lovey dovey, happy. Like, it's so saccharine. It's like, it's saccharinous. It's just, it's just disturbing. So I really didn't like that at all. Um, I was, it was really a friend of mine that posted on his Facebook um, that really kind of convinced me to probably watch this movie, but I read it right when this came out. Um, he did read the, read the book and he reread it right before he watched the movie and he said it is like spot on it is like beautifully made um he also never really liked the first movie and you know that's a very controversial kind of situation because um a lot of people really there is really a uh, following for the original it movie and I'm not really one of those people I really don't like it and anyway so I'm gonna do the um, review now I know I know it's, it's been babbling about it but I feel like it needs to be addressed due to the fact that there are so many mixed reviews in regards to the new one and people are like obviously comparing it with the old one and I kind of feel like 
yeah, you have every right to do that just because they're the same story. But the the first one really wasn't, I feel like was made really very, the story, the story um, journey was very different from the new one that um, it's hard to really compare. I feel like that's just the, you know, the older version and, you know, um, I think this is way, way better. So anyway, I watched it and I swear I was like, I screamed a few times and, um, I remember just like, this really got to me, like this movie really got to me, you know? What I mean by that, where it made me, it made me kind of tear up. It made me, it made me scream. It it made it got me scared. When when like a story does that to me, like a movie or a book, I for me that means that it's made really well. Like the actors are doing a great job. Everybody who's been a part of this movie is doing a good job or if it's in a book Then the author is really doing a phenomenal job because You have to think like when people just go and watch a movie and stuff. It's not just like five people the It's a lot of people that do all of this and it has everybody has to pull their weight and for it to actually be a great success um, I would rate this for out of five stars. I would rate this five out of five. It's it's just it's an it's a really beautiful movie. It's a beautiful story, and it doesn't just focus on like the scary parts of it. It really does focus on everything that it should, which is the story about it. Like, you know, I'm not gonna do any spoilers in case you've never seen it before. So I'm just gonna give you this. Um, this is kind of like a bonus actually. So if you don't wanna hear this, I would say, um, I hope you enjoyed my video and you're giving it a thumbs up as well as you subscribe to my, my channel if you haven't yet. And if you wanna chit chat, do it down below. But for anybody who wants to know about this, here goes. I feel like this story really digs deep into your inner turmoil and your inner issues and your any anything that you're battling with and they always usually stem from your childhood because that is really the most important part of your life. Whatever happens in your childhood, especially in the first five years of your life, usually um, pretty much stays in your life the most, like that is the most important years of your life and um that stays with you forever so this uh story really does um this movie really does i believe the story justice i have never i have never bought or owned or read stephen king books because um just from his movies alone he's a very good storyteller and I'm one of those people that get really, really scared and really get affected, especially when the author is phenomenal in their job. And um, that is the only reason why I have never touched his books. I've never bought his books. I believe my husband has some of his books. I've never read his books and I don't, I don't feel comfortable as of this moment in my life to read them just because of that. Um, I recommend this movie 100%. I give it a two thumbs up. Again, I give it a rating of five out of five stars. I love the story. I love the movie. And um, I can't wait to watch the part two of it. And of course, I will give you guys my review on that one as well. If you guys have other suggestions, especially Stephen King movies, I have been really drawn to them and I actually went on a list and actually tried to watch all of his movies. Um, I'm probably 80% done but um, anyway if you guys have other suggestions maybe not Stephen King movies maybe Stephen King movies that you want to talk about or maybe suggest if I haven't watched it yet or any kind of show or movie that I probably will enjoy as well um, because of this particular movie. Thank you guys so much, and um, if you guys want to chit-chat, don't forget to do that down below. And if you want to connect with my other social media accounts, I would love to hear from you guys there as well. 
All of them will be down below in the description section, so please do expand that. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.